world in the stranglehold of corona. Hundreds of thousands of people are dying. The streets are deserted. The global economy is on its knees. The start of a unique race against time across the world. Ever since the pandemic broke out, university researchers and pharmaceutical companies have been working feverishly on the search for a cure. Never before has humanity had to develop a vaccine against a deadly disease as quickly as today. The globalization is completely different and the speed at which these things come is uh, completely different. That means we have to be ready everywhere because uh, in a few hours or a few days can be around the world. Lifetime achievement goes to Dr. Rino Rapoli. In 2017, the European Patent Office honored a man for his life's work who now, in the year 2020, could save many lives. The biologist Dr. Rino Rapuoli continues to devote his scientific life to the development of vaccines. Rino Rapuoli is now the scientific director of external research and development for one of the major players in the pharmaceutical market. And there's a good reason for that. This man has turned the development of new vaccines completely upside down. When I started my career in vaccines late in 1980s, early 90s, uh, to make a vaccine, you need to do one thing, which was to grow the microorganism that causes the disease, which was a, a bacterium, uh, a virus, or a parasite. The other thing is that uh, to make viral vaccines, for instance, we used to ship viruses across borders. So if you isolate a virus in China, you had to send it to uh, uh, UK or to United States or to Australia to specialized labs across borders, send these uh, dangerous pathogens. Today, you don't send them anymore. You send information about those pathogens through the internet. Today, we have him to thank for the fact that researchers no longer need to see or touch a new pathogen to produce a new vaccine against it. He called his idea Reverse Vaccinology 2.0. We decided to change the way to make vaccines and not start from microbes anymore and growing microbes, but by looking at the information in their genome. His idea, when searching for a potent antigen, Rapuoli first looks directly at the genome of the pathogen, without touching the pathogen itself. We call this new way of making vaccines reverse vaccinology. And the first and important thing is that you don't have to expose people in laboratories uh, to my, uh, dangerous microorganisms. Today, you can pick through the genome the only piece which is important for, uh, to make a vaccine, make that synthetically in the lab and use only that to protect people. The risks of becoming infected with the pathogen when working are therefore zero. Rapoli's method is not only safe, but also extremely fast. That became clear even before the coronavirus crisis. Well, in 2013, it was a similar situation, basically. Uh, on the Easter day, the Chinese posted on the internet potentially pandemic influenza virus, H7 and 9. And uh, at that time, we started from the sequence uh, on the internet, we made a synthetic gene, and in one week we had the uh, vaccine made in the laboratory. However, at that time, we were the only lab in the world that we could make it. The big difference today is that 100% of the labs worldwide are using 2.0. If we can all lead a normal life again in one year's time, we'll probably owe it to one man in particular, Rino Rapuoli. A man who has made it his business to save lives. I believe there is no better job in the world.